左高碳马 ，left high pad on horse. From our previous move. Our previous move was single whip, and then flat both hands again. It follows the arm, your hands and the arm, arm, your arm, your wrist, your hand, and your fingers form a smooth surface. So you're not up, you're not down, just move. Both hands, smooth, smooth. Now you are looking at your left hand. Now as you flat both hands, you turn your head to your right. So you are looking at your right hand now. You are in a horse stance. So you shift your body weight to the right side. Okay, I'm not, I'm not lunging. I was just. Leaning on the side. Okay, see the difference. If I lunge, I go forward. If I lean, I go sideways. So it's lean on the on the left on the right side, on the right hand side. Okay. Your feet were pointing. Um, your left foot pointing southeast. Your right foot pointing southwest. Rotate your right body, your right side of the body, by closing the groin, right groin, and rotate your right hip. So your now at this point, both of of your feet are pointing southeast, and you're also closing, dropping elbow, and closing your right hand. So you're doing it at the same time. I'm not. As I rotate, I'm not bringing out, bringing in my arms like this. Okay, I'm just dropping elbows. From the camera, you see that my wrists are going this way. Is because I rotate my hip. Not be, I did not bring my wrist over to the left hand side. I'm just dropping elbow so that my wrist will travel to my shoulder. As in the beginning of Tai Chi, you drop your elbows and you bring in your wrist to your shoulder. Same, you drop your elbows so that your wrist will come back, and you're coming back to your sh to your shoulders only, to your right shoulder, not over. So this is what I actually do, and will take my hip. Okay, if I do it in in the sequence, you see that. It actually, it looks like I'm bringing over my right wrist, but if I separate it into two movements, it's dropping. See, it comes back from this direction, comes back from a um, southwest direction. It travel, it travels back like this, and I rotate. So now you can see that my Right foot and my right knees, my body, my wrist and shoulders are all pointing. My right hand side for my body are all pointing at、um, southeast. So you you may、uh, separate it into、uh, separate into two two moves, which is you lean on the sideways, okay. Now you drop your elbows and bring back your wrist, and then rotate. And also notice that as I rotate my right hand side, the right hand side of my body, my left hand side did not move. So I'm not going like this. Okay, it is not related to my left body, left side of my body. Only rotating my right hand side, and then. My right leg is solid, left leg is empty. Raise my left toes. My left toe and my left hand are pointing at the southeast direction.
Okay. As I, I open my right groin, rotating my right hip to adjust the direction of my left hand side body. Okay, so. Mm. So I'm not pointing that way and then. See? Okay. At the same time, you rotate your hand, your arm. So you're opening. At the same time, you rotate your arm. So it looks like you are rotating in the axis of the little finger, finger, but it is not. You are just rotating your arm in the center axis, okay, as always. And then as I rotate, open my hip, and it travels. So it kind of looks like opening my hand like this, but it is too, too uh, this is a mix of rotating my arms through the middle uh, center axis and opening my right groin rotate my right hip now you sh your left hand side body should be pointing east your right hand side body should be pointing southeast so your hip and your body is pointing southeast. This is important, which is ready for the next move. So, come back. Standing on this line so you can see. So, this is my east, that's my west the whole stance okay my body was facing southeast my left hand and my left foot are pointing east what I did is I'm not just dropping elbow I'm adjusting my body so I'm opening my right groin, closing my left groin to get a um, adjustment. My body was facing southeast. Now I face south uh, east. See how my body is now facing the camera. As I was facing my body, it was facing um, southeast. This is where the motions come from, and then close your right hand to your left hand so it is a complicated move again uh, not complicated because um, it has a lot of movement it's more about coordination you can break, break it down into each move and then try to coordinate you can do it bit by bit okay flatten both hands Turn your left hand, uh, head to your right side, lean on your right hand side, drop your elbows and bring in your wrists, rotate the right side of the body, left toes up, open and rotate your hand and then open your, rot uh, adjust your hips. So you are now facing east and close your right hand to your left hand. Okay, if I do it on this side. Then both hands rotate your head, left, uh, turn your head from left to right, lean on your left, drop your elbows and break in your wrist. Rotate your right side of the body, right hand side of the body. Pointing south. Close. Okay, so uh, I started with the back side of the body so you can see my okay, focus on my left hand.
And you also notice that my forearm of my left hand is more um, like a horizontal. So as it breaks in, you are kind of dropping elbows so that you flat and then bring and that, and your your wrist is more like in the center so that you cl you close it like this you bring in the wrist together 